I've never forgotten it. Susan Berman's father's favorite song was on the sunny side of the street. So I always think of that when I think of her because it became her favorite song too. I'm Officer Rashad Sharif from the Los Angeles Police Department. That was Christmas Eve 2000 and it was a nice Southern California December, 70 degrees clear skies. The street there is one of the main thoroughfares from like West Hollywood, Hollywood area to the valley. We received a radio call and we started heading that way up to the canyon. It's a Beverly Hills zip code. It is a fairly affluent area because it's up in the hills. The call was the open door where the neighbor had not seen their neighbor for a while and the dog is running around loose. It was a rear door that was open. And they went, and that's when they found the body of Susan Berman. And her body is laying there, gunshot to the back of the head. The dog's bloody paw prints all around her body. We discovered one shell casing. Police found 55-year-old Susan Berman dead of a single gunshot wound to the head. Nothing was stolen and the neighbors report having never heard a shot fired. There was no forced entry in that house, so whoever came had to know her. And there was no defensive wounds on her. And when her back was to him, he cowardly executed her by putting that gun to the back of her head and pulling the trigger. About two days later, the Beverly Hills Police Department receives a rather intriguing piece of mail, and then the mystery deepens. What the murderer did in L.A. was take no paper and a green pen and wrote cadaver and her address and sent it to the Beverly Hills Police Department and spelled Beverly wrong. It was kind of weird because we thought, who uses the word cadaver and who would send a letter to the Beverly Hills Police? It's like somebody doesn't want her laying there for any length of time. Little did Detective Coulter know that solving this case and bringing that someone to justice would take 20 years. The combined efforts of the LAPD and the FBI, 50 law clerks, nine prosecutors, and a two-year trial. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.